Hello there and welcome to the new Tableau Data Visualization video tutorial and in this tutorial I will going to show you one of the new challenge that is being posted on the Makeover Monday website. If you have been following my videos then you already know what the Makeover Monday community is, where it is and uh, how you basically uh, participate in this to improve your data visualization skills but if you are not already then this is a community which is running almost past six or seven years if i'm not wrong uh, i think the data sets are available from 2016 onwards or so uh, where you can practice your data visualization skills the idea behind this entire project as i have read on its website is to try the each chart based on the visualization based on the data that that is being given in there so many different data uh, data types or the data sets have been exposed uh, from this community or they have given you based on some of the social impact or based on the sports or maybe sometimes related to the government or, or like I said social cause so this basically helps you explore what sort of that one visualization will be useful and there is nothing like that it is right it is wrong visualization it's about what idea or what thought you want to spark up in the person's mind who is looking at your visualization who will start thinking okay so this is the problem or this is what it is going on which you are explaining it with the help of visualization so that's the idea all this information about the makeover monday community uh, for the for the link and everything is being given in the description you can view it over there but in this video, what we will going to do is uh, I will give you five different ideas as to what visualization that you can create with the given data set. Uh, previously also, I have given you many different ideas as to what you can do based on the data that you have in hand. So that if you are in a similar situation in your company or with the work that you are doing, then you can very easily achieve it with the help of these ideas because the more you practice with these ideas the more you get better with this uh, data visualization skills so with that what we will do is let's go to the makeover monday community see the current week which is week 38 right now week 38 challenge and uh, five different ideas which i have how you can solve it all right so let's go ahead all right so here we are with the makeover monday community website link so here is the website link www.makeovermonday.co.uk now once we have this information what we need to go or what we need to do is go here in the participate and here you have the data sets so once we click on the data sets it will start showing you like i was mentioning right from 2016 we have the data sets for each week uh, right now we are in 2020 and this is week 40 not the 38 so it's like um, the u.s counties with the highest economic output but what i am showing you is basically week 38 i have not caught up with these two new challenges but with the week 38 which is pick up a book and read so this is an article based on which it has or the makeover monday, monday community has created this challenge so here is the article and here is the data sets as you can see source article slash visualization is here pick up a book and read and here is the data set so once <coughs> you will click on the uh, pick up a book and read article you will come to this website which is the Eurostat, your key to European statistics. And this is the article, pick up and book and read. You can read about this article as to what basically they are suggesting from the title itself. They are giving you the direction that uh, this pandemic is going on. And during this, you can pick up a book and read with your children. And uh, to support that, they are, they are giving you some facts as compared to the other products like all products this red line uh, where the books prices have been so price development in eu all products and books so they are suggesting it that books prices are going down so you pick up a book and start reading it down there you will see a couple of more um, facts but the most uh, 
but the data that we have is mostly around that so in your free time read this entire article but what i want to do is move on to the data set so once you will click over here for the data set data.world you will land over here now i have logged in that's why i am able to see all the data sets if you are not you may have to either create an account or if you already have an account then you need to log in so once we have this what do we have is basically four different columns uh, one for the category we have two category all items and books then we have the country uh, this is morely mostly the european countries or the european union countries and then we have the monthly information and index information what the index is for the respective category for the respective country and in the respective year month so now from this data we can clearly see that it is it is a time dependent data which is also dependent on a particular category and a particular country but the most important thing is the time over here so whenever we will going to create a chart we will have to keep few things in the mind at the very top that it is a time dependent data second thing it has the category which is books and all other items and finally third level is which is the lowest which is the second lowest level is basically the country because the most lowest level over here is the year month so as you can see for austria as a country we have different month but as for the category we may have different countries and different countries will have their multiple months so the lowest level is the year month the high one level higher is the country and the the top level category or the top level dimension that you have is basically this so creating this idea within the mind will going to help you a lot uh, when you are uh, creating the visualization because you will be having a good idea as to in which category how many values can happen what is the lowest level of category what is the highest level of category and then when we will create the visualization we can easily understand when to use it as a filter or into the visualization and how many rows we can expect okay so i have downloaded this data already by clicking over here on the download option so let me show you what i have downloaded so here is the downloaded data set as you can see we have category we have country month and index and here is one the table one that is that is present here so so what uh, what we're going to do is uh, bring all of this information within the tableau and start creating the visualization and before that we may need to a little bit clean up the data as well so let's see how we can do that all right so here we are within the tableau and i will going to click on microsoft excel and over here i have this data set books and hicp pivoted this is the way it has been downloaded so i'm just double clicking over here and it will going to download this data set now the problem with this is as you can clearly see that it has not picked up these columns which is quite category country year month and finally the index column so what we may do is uh, we may click on the use data interpreter which is a which is a quick and straightforward way to clean up your data so now as you can see uh, very quickly tableau has identified that this is an unnecessary row and you have the these columns however you also have the option of changing these values so for example index 2015 equals 200 i i may want to change it to only index so that's what i'm doing now the second thing i may want to do is split this column so right now if you see year and month column is is combined together this is probably not going to go good when i will going to draw charts so what i will do is come over here on this drop down click over there and click on the split once i click on the split what it will do is uh, it will split the year and the split the month information so what i can do is i can say year over here and i can say month over here so now so we have this year information we have this month information uh, however what we may probably need to do is uh, create a proper date so keeping in mind that uh, either it is the uh, start of every month or the end of the every month we, we can create a date based on the year and month that is being given here so what we can do is we can come over here 
and click on create calculated field and we will say uh, let's say uh, C date which is a calculated date just so that it is differentiated from the date function so the function we will going to use is the make date so make date is a function which is helpful to create the date based on the year month and day information and recently i published even one course and the link is given in the description that uh, you can basically um, look at that particular course if you are more interested in looking at various different types of the date functions step by step so year information is present in the year column so as you can see this is a function as it has f present over here but this is hash hash is nothing but this this is the formatting which is there for this particular field which is here so that's why i'm able to identify that this is a year so i'll just click over here then i have the month so what i will provide is the month again i will pick this hash not the function month so i will click over here and then i will provide the day now this is something which i will provide manually because as you can see i don't have any month information so i will say one that means the date will be for the first of every month and uh, for the every given month and the given year so if i just click apply and okay now as you can see so first of jan first of feb first of march first of april up until first of december 2000 then for the rest of the values now it's up to me whether i want this year and month probably i don't so what i'll do is click over here and uh, either delete or hide i will not delete it because my make date is dependent on this so what i'll do is hide it and again for month i will going to hide it so now we have this information which is uh, helpful for us for the production of the chart even this information probably i would not need so what i'll do is hide it it is a best practice that the less of the data you will going to have within your visualization the faster and the efficient it will be and you will have less clutter because as we will move on you will see that um, in a in a project you start creating new calculated fields or the new information in the form of a calculated field so probably you may not want something which is not useful now uh, this is this and uh, what we can do is come over here in the sheet one for the purpose of creation of visualization before creating the visualization what we can check is our dimension and measures are at proper place so we have this category which is a dimension that is whether it's a book or all other items it is the created date or the calculated date that we created and as you can see since it has c i can clearly identify that it is a calculated one um, country is one which is as you can see globe is given that means tableau automatically has identified that it is the uh, geographical information and then it has generated the latitude and long longitude information then you have the index as the index value for the for these different categories now what we can do is start creating the visualization and i'll show you the five ideas that is helpful uh, for you to put your point and that you can pr practice in any other data visualization whether for makeover monday or for any your work that you are doing all right so the very first visualization if you think from the perspective of a data which is dependent on the time we basically create is the uh, time series chart so what we will going to take is the c date and index and what we will do is come over here and if you will see by default it is showing you this uh, side by side but what we will create is a simple line chart now this simple line chart is a problem take a pause here um, and and basically identify what the problem is think like this is a question or this is a problem statement given to you in an interview and uh, you need to think and give me give a clear answer what do you see the problem is over here all right so i hope you must have identified what the problem is in this chart and the problem is is the sum of index so if you see the sum of index is 50000 60000 however if you see generally the value lies like 74 82 or close to this 100 106 things like those so 
This is something which is a very big problem. This is an incorrect representation of the data. What we need to do is come over here and from measure we need to change it to the average. Now another problem. Let me ask you another question. How would you make sure that whenever you are pulling the index on the row or column or for the aggregation, always there will be average selected so that you don't have to do this this action again and again like going over here and uh, changing it from measure sum to average think like again it's an interview question how would you do that and if you don't know let me know in the comments if you know then also let me know in the comments maybe you have a complete different way what i am going to explain you all right so i hope by now you must have figured it out but if not you can come over here in the index and uh, over here uh, we have the uh, something which is called as default properties in the default properties we have this sum so by default whenever you will going to take this visualization it will be sum. so change it to average so now if i just remove this and show you again that again the same procedure i am choosing the date i am choosing the index and i am creating the line chart it will by default show the average and that will be your answer to your prospective employer if that's the question which is coming to you so this series is starting from 2069 as you can see the value is 69 as i showed you over there as well and this has been averaged over the year so if you see this data this is a monthly data however what we have over here is the yearly data so if you want to see the monthly data then you need to come over here and change it to month once you change it to the month the each value is changed to the month however over here you the axis has not changed because of the uh, the values and uh, how much value basically that you can show the uh, w basically by default show you what is what can be shown as at this level but over here the series has completely changed however you also have the option that you can aggregate it on a quarter so the way we aggregate it to one level above so the lowest level is monthly the higher level is quarter and the next higher level is year the more smooth your data is so if you will see there is a variation in data and another question let me ask you which which probably can be asked in an interview or probably you can start exploring how would you show the variation in a much better way in this chart suppose this is the line chart which has been given to you in in the interview or in the hackathon how would you show the variation properly well in that case uh, if you have not taken the pause i would suggest take the pause and see what you can do if you not if you have not figured it out well what you need to come over here is on the index on this axis right click edit axis and uncheck this that's the option right now uh, if you see the the chart is forcing zero right however the chart is starting close to 66 or 67 if we uncheck this you will see the change so if i uncheck this now see the change isn't it better than what we were seeing earlier a clear upward trend with proper variations right so this is one thing now we have to make sure that we are showing both the categories for book and all the other products for the comparison side so what we can do is bring it on the color now the same chart which we had seen earlier in the uh, in the article is present here so book is definitely lower than the all the other product uh, when it comes to the index which was their main case to recommend the book reading to their end user now a couple of things that that we can do to better represent this from the makeover monday perspective because makeover monday is about uh, presenting some hard truth in front of the user and hard truth can come uh, in any way i mean one individual can think this is a hard truth as compared to another individual and if the presentation is right and data interpretation and uh, presentation is right then there is no problem that from the same competition you have three or four or five different ways as to how you want to show it so the one thing which i want to start with is right now what we have is the simple visualization which is a trend line so what i want to do again here is the at the line and i want to show 
the uh, so we have a couple of options in the label first you enable this and then either at the line ends so wherever the line is ending we have this i think this is fine and uh, what we can see over here is uh, for books it has started from 71 and close to here in 2011 it has crossed down and here in the 2020 august it has it is consistently going down below to the all the other products now this is one way of doing it another interesting way of doing it is finding the percentage difference between where you started and where you have ended because percentage is much more relative right now you can just see okay 71 208 65 to 105 so what does it really communicate i mean uh, whether 108 is better 105 is better when it compares to 71 and 65 so it's not relatable so what we can do is come over here in the average index quick table calculation and we see percent difference so once we click on the percent difference you will see this this very busy chart you know nothing is very clear but let's make a sense out of it and for that what you need to do again come over here and say relative to and over here you have first so now you see the difference that from the first observation how much difference it has uh, created so 66.58 percent and then 48.13 percent in the book that means it clearly shows that book index has changed from 2000 to 2020 close to 48 percent increase whereas in the other product the increase is 66 percent this is something much more relatable in my view and if you will see this you can probably even submit this uh, by having a proper you know some bigger title as to what what was shown in the article and then support your statistic that uh, book index has changed only or increased only 48 percent as compared to 66 so still books books can be considered a good friend which is not just for the human being but for their pockets also so something around those lines but this this shows a very interesting and comparable statistics both from the starting point as well as in these two points you can make a relation all right so now we have this let's move on to the second idea which i want to give you and the second idea is is one level down suppose you have created this as as one part of it now i will just duplicate this and over here i will keep only book so i'll click over here on the book and say keep only so only my books are coming and books is now present in the filter because i clicked over here to keep only the books part now the next thing is bringing the countries so what i can do is bring the country on the detail and if you will see this is something showing you a very high increase into the turkey isn't it the visualization that you would like to present because it's clearly standing it out it's standing itself out where it is showing you 610 percent increase whereas the next observation if you will see is 137 percent increase and we can even uh, remove this clutter by coming over here in the label and we can uncheck this allow label to overlap other mark and once we do that we clearly see that the highest is 1610 percent 137 percent 65 percent and 26 percent and we have we can right click and say hide indicator because we don't want to consider the null or we can exclude it as well so this is another visualization which you can present within the uh, within the uh, the makeover monday as a submission clearly indicating that turkey has seen 1610 percent as the very highlighted text and say this is what the growth or this is what the percentage increase the turkey has had turkey has had in the area of books as compared to the rest of the eu countries all right so this is the second visualization which i wanted to show you uh, that standing itself out from the clutter so this is the second case which you can present or one can present about uh, what they see in the data now let's move on to the third one so what i'll do is again right click and duplicate we are not 
making anything else we are just considering with this so this is one visualization but what i want to do is now in this case we are i'm changing it uh, we are clearing first of all the table calculation all right so now you see that uh, the, the visualization is coming in a way uh, the way they are when it comes to their respective uh, index numbers and clearly the two different indicators over here 165 and 155 so what is 165 165 is denmark and 155 is turkey that means even though there is a very high increment in the turkey denmark is much more higher when it comes to uh, turkey in the current year so that's another uh, sort of um, insight or uh, information that can be supplied and there are a couple of ways by which you can do that so one thing which one interesting thing is um, basically uh, creating a highlighter so i'll go to analysis and come to highlighter and click on the country and i will highlight the country let's say i want to highlight the denmark so this is the denmark now you see this this is basically what would be what if i need to submit this is what i would probably submit into this if I may want to change the color, I can change the color. So, for example, going over here and make it a little bit more professional, more uh, better looking color. Something around if I choose black and from here I will choose this dark gray. And click over here and click OK. Now you see how how this visualization is coming or you can experiment a little bit with the with this. Let's say we want to make it complete dark as the black. We need to basically see how much we are able to. Yeah, I think looks way much better than than the earlier one. So it's clearly indicating that Denmark is the country which which is having the highest index uh, in the 2016. Oh, sorry, in the 2020 and starting from the uh, 2019, it is consistently going up, right? So book reading is much expensive in Denmark as compared to any other country. That should be your title and some more information down there and you are ready for your submission by obviously, you know, formatting a little bit more just so that it looks good when it comes to this. Now this, this country, which is Portugal, if I just click it over here, you will see that uh, book reading uh, within the Portugal is, is the lowest where it, the index is just 41.4. So even you can have something like a comparison between these two points, that what is the highest point, what is the lowest point, because that's that's basically the essence of the, um, of the Makeover Monday is to find the outlier, find where the impact is, whether it, it can be on the lower side, if you are thinking from that perspective, it can be on the higher side. Also, when you have the highlighter, you are giving the option to the people where they can select let's say i am i am interested in looking at uh, estonia if i just click it over here 111.3 that means it is somewhere in the middle so my rest of the visualizations are grayed out and what i want to look at has been highlighted for me so this is the third level which or the third idea which i wanted to communicate it to you as to what you can do with the uh, highlighter and with the direct options uh, earlier we have seen highest level in the turkey but now we have seen denmark is the highest one when it comes to actual terms and uh, the portugal is the one which is the lowest all right let's move on and for that let me right click and duplicate okay so what i will do now is i will change this from month to a little bit higher which is year and now it represents that somewhere over here all of the european countries in 2015 the index has come to zero close to zero and from there they have moved on so i'm not sure but definitely something interesting is happening in the 2015 which is causing this and this can be another idea as to what really happened in 2015 first thing is looking at the data whether the data is incorrect or not if data is not incorrect, then what event that happened in the 2015 where for the books as a category has the index close to 100, 
uh, in the 2015 and then we have seen the explosion and then they have moved on to their various different uh, uh, directions based on how the how the index was so that's that's one thing but uh, what i want to basically show it over here is something like all the way up until here no i need to select from here probably yeah up until here and i can go on to any point and i will select exclude okay i have this point as well which is 2001 so i will select 2001 and i will say exclude so by now, if you have already seen some of my videos, you must have uh, you must have got what I'm trying to do. So what I'm trying to create is basically a chart which indicates what is a change that has happened into various countries if we compare with the uh, starting period to ending period. That's another very interesting way to look at how we have progressed um, from one point to another point. So what I'll do is I will just come over here on the edge and bring this visualization a little bit here um, or here. Here I will change this um, general tick marks. I don't need minor tick marks. And for this, I will change this to fixed and I will increase the interval just so that uh, it should start showing me the uh how much i want to see it over here so 2014 15 or 10 first of all i will just change this uh to not from 2009 but 2000 okay so 2000 2010 and 2000 if i just increase the interval a little bit more you will see what you are getting is towards 2020 sounds good all right so now we have this and i will just remove this title and come out by clicking this so from 2000 to 2020 a clear idea that we are giving and very clearly you will see that turkey is standing out where in 2000 was the lowest but now it is the highest Another interesting thing I may want to do is uh, we have this category and uh, so category is fine but I want to put countries on the color uh, or what we can do is we can even make it a highlighter as well. So coming over here so two ways by default we can just click over here and it will highlight but uh, I think the much interesting way is the one which I showed you earlier highlighter country. So what I can do is um, so from here show title highlight selected item or hide the card and now this is this is how I will going to highlight this so this is one way uh, by which you can highlight there is another interesting way by which you can highlight and uh, the way we do that is by creating a parameter so what I'll do is create a parameter and uh, we will say p country just so that we know it is a country and it is a string list adding the values from the countries all the values down there united states is something which has been given but we don't want that since the value is not present so we'll click ok and i will show it over here show parameter so we have this country where we can select now what we will do is uh, creating a calculated field uh, C country uh, which indicates calculated country and uh, we will going to do is country equals to P country that means it is a true and false output that it will give if the selected country is equals to the country which we are selecting from here then it will be true otherwise false so we'll click OK we will change this to detail color coloring to detail and uh, we will have this true false if you will if you are able to see this is t slash f and we will bring this to color so now if you see only one country is being colored over here uh, which is highlighted in true so we can hide this and now if i let's say select denmark so only denmark is highlighted and what we can do is for blue what we can do is uh, take first of all black 
and make it very very light over here and click OK click apply click OK all right so now looks like a good visualization right so if I select anything which is let's say Luxembourg uh, if I just bring it down over here it will, it will be a little bit more visible so Luxembourg is here uh, Serbia is somewhere here probably just one point Slovenia is how they have progressed Greece so for your country you can basically uh, I select it from here so this is another way if you don't want to use the highlighter and want to have more control over how you want to highlight this is another way by which you can do that and last but not the least is the the visualization which is related to the country if you see the globe icon what visualization comes into your mind take a pause and think about it if you are a beginner it may take a little bit but if you are an experienced by now you must have got it all right so let's see this so we have country we have index let's select that and over here we will going to create the map chart we have this map chart and the filled map chart so what I'll do is I'll click on the flip on this one so this is coming with the country I don't want uh, United States because this is mostly focused around over here so what I'll do is I will bring the country over here and I will uncheck this first of all I don't know what it is uh, we can we can even reduce it from the main data source and click apply and okay now this is basically again the average for the 20 years so what we can provide to the users is basically the year so over here on the date let's bring it on the filter and we will show years next uh, what year we want to show we want to show the latest year if this is something going in a dashboard sort of a uh, component so if I click on show filter and uh, from here I can say multiple value drop down just so that the space is here let's say we want to see the last uh, five years of data as an average so clearly Turkey is leading uh, followed by here Sweden Norway is basically indicating um, how how they have been increased over here in the Poland it's it's pretty less so this is basically the map visualization again a straightforward visualization which we can show for the purpose of in the latest years uh, how the situation of books are but over here we need to also sell filter the category to only books click apply and ok so once we do that uh, the visualization is much more correct and much more refined uh, as compared to this now up to us if you want to uh, probably put labels over here uh, we can we can put labels we can change the formatting a little bit like we want to make it white if if you want to make it a little bit more visible and make it tabloid bold so up to us this is this is something which I leave it up to you but this is the fifth and final visualization just so that you uh, somebody will land on your visualization and clearly they see Turkey is the one where you know in, in the recent years highest is being given and you have the flexibility to even change it based on the filter that you have given so that's mainly I wanted to show you the five different ideas that you can create for visualization for your makeover Monday submission and uh, along with that if you if you have ever watched the makeover Monday entries they come up with a good representation like annotation and all so what I suggest is uh, creating a dashboard where you can bring the visualization which you want add the text field add probably the annotation right for example right click over here and you have the option of doing the uh, annotating the mark annotating the point annotating the area where you can write your uh, information also if you want to write it for each and every one sort of like a general what I suggest is create a tooltip where tooltip is present if you will see for each and every year and uh, we can make changes to the tooltip uh, by being creative so latest five year average index is and click OK and now if you will see the latest five year average index is this so that means we are giving much more uh, interpretable information to the end user 
So leaving up to you, uh, your creativity and uh, how do you want to move ahead with that. But mainly wanted to show you the different visualization. All these visualization make sense. All these visualization communicates an idea and all these visualization helps the user understand uh, in which country the book is, is going more. Think like if your company is a book publisher and they they may want to start up a business in one of these countries. This is the sort of visualization probably you may need to create to give them a general idea based on the research uh, or the numbers that has been published by the European Union. So that's about it. And uh, let me know what you have created uh, in the description by or not in the description in the comments so that I can also see your creation and inspire from it. So thank you. Thank you for watching this. If you like it, then share with your uh, friends, colleagues on the social media. And I hope um, along with you, they will be also able to learn something from, from this tutorial.